Two homes separated by cultural differences and a windy road. Geographic locations close in distance yet fundamentally apart. Although Payton City and Morgantown are both West Virginia towns, the experiences in both are two completely different realms, from small rural America to a bustling, almost small city. In his novel Digital Detroit, Jeff Rice talks about how spaces, such as a city or town, can be seen as an interconnected and interactive network rather than just a geographically fixed location on a map. He uses Detroit as the topic of this rhetoric theory since he is familiar with the area. Instead of just a place on a map, Rice argues that Detroit has many figurative and literal meanings based on the interactions that occur on a daily basis. Instead of a dot on a map, Detroit has much in common with an integrated, connected network. I have chosen to extend this theory to the places that I am personally most familiar with, Morgantown and Payton City. With a name that is truly ironic, Payton City boasts a whopping population of about 2,000, which is not nearly the size of a presumed city. With only 200 or less in a high school that is grades 7 through 12 rather than 9 through 12, you can say it is a very small town. There is one stoplight, and even that isn't really necessary. Payton City was all I ever knew for 16 years. Growing up as a toddler until 18, Payton City was the town where I imprinted all of my both early and later memories. Even with its small stature, the high school still dominates most of local life. Sporting events were decently well attended. On any given night, most locals were attending a sporting event, whether it was volleyball, basketball, football, or even baseball and softball games. Although it is cliche, it is true. Everyone literally knew everyone. Everyone's personal experiences were typically brought to life through gossip or hearsay. Normally, it was generally true, with the exception of small exaggerations. But still, most people knew your personal business whether or not you knew it. The town raised me. I grew up with selfless neighbors whom I shared many memories with. I learned my behaviors and cultural influences from those surrounding me. I was never exposed to really any ethnic or cultural diversity. Payton City is a predominantly white town and mostly conservative. These people showed me the way throughout town. I never needed any digital spaces or even maps to get around because I was used to the area and had grown up going to these various places. It was a safe haven, still is a safe haven, and will always be the place that I consider home because of the deep emotional connection I have with it. Having grown up in an extremely small rural town, Morgantown became an index of unfamiliar surroundings. Morgantown garnered independence and freedom. I walked among strangers, but oddly enough, never felt like a stranger. We were all college students with one goal in mind, getting a degree. However, each and every one of the students here are so uniquely different that everyone has experienced this town differently than the next. These are supposed to be the best years of our lives, and everyone lives at how they perceive their life and future. I was not familiar with the space. I had come over for various football and basketball games, but I never knew how much there actually was to Morgantown. I was overwhelmed and stressed out my first weekend as a freshman, mostly because I was so used to knowing where everything was that I was completely out of my element and comfort zone. I had to use maps on my phone to get around, and I studied them before I came over to try and get familiar with the surroundings. It kind of helped, but peering at a digital map is nowhere near the same as actually being in the environment itself. There are connections, feelings, sights, sounds, and even experiences that occur just by being in a new area. Walking to and from class among the hustle and bustle of everyone else with the same agenda was refreshing from my 16 years of repetitive normalcy. I didn't know anyone on a personal level, and no one knew me. It was an oddly displaced yet intimate feeling when I first arrived on campus. People are nicer and more open-minded, and there are people here that have the same interests as I do. From fishing in a pool of 200 to suddenly 30,000 was a stark difference. In the end, these places became more than a tack on a map just as Jeff Rice explains in his novel. My memories forged in each of these places make them stand out vividly. Suddenly, it is not just a two or three dimensional map, but a whirlwind of images and flashbacks from your various experiences. Landmarks are just not landmarks. They are reminders of a specific class or a particular person that you met there. Names of restaurants aren't just typical restaurants. They were hubs for studying or hanging out with friends on a Saturday night. These places are a home, an adventure, a memory, and a real-life scrapbook, not just a name on a map.